Hello, my name is Adam Bean and today I would like to implement a Java E service and access that from a React Jazz app. So let's start with the service. So um, let's create a number factory and um, I will use uh, Maven for this. The simplest possible way to create a Java E app and I will call it numbers. It's the number service and the number service um, will have installed a course filter and the course fil filter is only um, important in case you would like to access from uh, from a different server our backend service which is usually the case uh, it has nothing to do with java -E rather than with uh, web security in the browser so i would just um, replace the group id okay now it's installed and then i would just add a resource and call it numbers resource and this is the numbers resource and the numbers resource will have path numbers and I will return a JSON array which will contain strings with numbers of course so now let's quickly create the numbers generate we can generate the number with Um, current millis then I would like convert the number to um, a string and then say I would like just to have let's say 10 numbers so done and this is a, uh, a number stream and it actually doesn't have to be a string, but um, it doesn't matter in our case. And then what I would like to do is to, uh, Jace to create a an array builder. This is the array, and the array is going to be returned. And what we have to do is to convert that. So number string for each array at so it looks nice. So let's uh, build it and then run it on a server. So we just run it and ask me which server. I will use the Payara one. Okay. Numbers, resources, numbers, and we have the numbers. So it looks good. We have to remember the URI. So uh, what happened before? I just created an empty React project and I would like to open that. And so, and uh, this comprises the package JSON, which uh, basically contains the, uh, the React dependencies. So there are some runtime dependencies like React, React DOM, and React Router. So React Router is actually not necessary in, in this example. And then some plugins in order to be able to, to use um, ES6 or ECMAScript 2015. Okay, so the uh, index HTML is very simple. So it just comprises a div ID, which is going to be re replaced by the by the React app and a reference to target.jar. And what is jar? Of course, a JavaScript archive. So um, this jar ends up being everything bundled into one file. And there is a Webpack configuration. And what it does, it just searches for uh, from the entry point, which is, happens to be the index.js from there, and searches for dependencies and, and, and puts everything in, into one place. So we have the index.js. So, um, and what this index.js does, it renders. So it, it goes to my document. So it is our index.html and searches for element by the app, which is, of course, the diff here. And um, renders the template. Here, what's template? Template is Im imported from from dot slash template. So go to template. Template is just a basic, basic, basic React component um, called template, and it renders Duke 44, uh, 42. So if we uh, run it, we should see Duke 42. So it's localhost. Uh, what was the port? Duke 42. Okay, and if it changes, of course, it will be uh, 
41. Okay, now um, what I would like to do is to introduce a React component called uh, numbers. And this is going to be a component. So I would have to import React from, from uh, React, export default class, the class is called numbers, and it extends uh, React component. And we'll have to implement at least one method, render, and this method will return return a diff and say component duke. So okay, and if we just import this component here, uh, numbers from numbers from uh, numbers, which is directly usable. So we add here and we say, okay, I would like to render numbers here. So component you works. And, uh, but we would like to access the server and in React there's no dependency injection. So I would just use the, uh, the hardest possible way to do this export default client and this client is just plain java class so no nothing to do with uh, react forgot the class and uh, it has one method called numbers and this method returns a promise uh, and promise is something like a future so similar to future with the, and um, future in Java, and it uh, expects a um, a function with resolve and reject. We actually only need the um, the um, the resolve uh, because we we are not interested right now in error handling. So and um, here, what we can do within the function here, yeah, the anonymous function. I would like to use the um, request and this is going to be the new XML HTTP request. So this is uh, the lowest possible level you can get in JavaScript request.open and I would like to use the um, get request and this is the URI. So we created this and then say uh, request on on ready state change and what I can do I can register another function here and what this function does it says uh, request dot uh, how it's called um, response text and this is the let raw and what we would like to have is the um, objectified version. And we used a built-in parse method for this. And this is raw. So now we have the object. And then I will call resolve and pass the objectified version. So nice. And this could work and what it can do then say request.send without parameters so looks good hopefully it will work so now the client is implemented um, we can use the client and they are there is no magic so no dependency in the injection nothing so what I will do I will just uh, remember I'll just pass the client the props to the super and say this client equals new client and hence is react I will declare the state and the state is an object with array of numbers so this is the em empty um, empty object and then what we can do we can say this client uh, called numbers and basically what I forgot is to import the client oh. so 
this client numbers. So and this is the method. And what I get back now is the promise. So I can say then this dot this uh, let's say result. Let's call it result. This set state, and I will override the current result, and the current result is going to be numbers r. So this is what um, what I would like to do here. So the client is created, the state, uh, the initial state is um, created, and uh, in the constructor, the um, the uh, asynchronous of the client is called. And um, so we are in the numbers, and what I would like to do is to output here the numbers. So how to do this? So what we can do right now, we can say um, we can we could say here the following. Let's make a section from this. We can say right now section, and within this, I will just inline transform the state into a diff a diff and this is the uh, number number and this should be like that so And what I forgot is that. So, and what you can see, we created the simplest possible React app. And um, what it does, it, uh, it uh, has a section. And whenever the state of the numbers component changes, it gets re-rendered on the um, on the client. So there's all the numbers. So of course, uh, what we can do, I don't know. We could we could of course beautify that and use uh, in the responsive B. <laughs> I'm not sure whether Blink is working. And now it's this uh, bold, which is beautiful. So uh, thank you for watching and see you on upcoming courses, also the React course at Munich Airport, conferences, um, workshops, projects, and enjoy Java and JavaScript. So thank you for watching and bye.